Okay, excellent. I apologize if the webcam's not embedding properly, but hey, gotta roll with the punches. So lesson six in our acids and bases units, we gotta talk about some indicator dyes. So how indicators change color based upon pH. And this is a really cool part of chemistry because we got these chemicals that change color based upon the concentration of acid or base in the solution. And we have a whole reference table M to tell us about the top six indicator dyes that we like to use. But here's the basic concept. Indicator is a molecule that's sensitive to the acid or base ions. Acids are hydronium, bases are hydroxide, okay? And in it being sensitive, it changes color based upon the concentration of those ions that are present. So that's what I just said, right? It's gonna change color if it's in an acid versus if it's base, different colors. That's what you gotta remember. Different dyes are gonna change different colors at different pH values. So you're gonna need to have a variety of them in order to do your assays or tests for acid or base. Um, making sense of table M, it's pretty straightforward for most of us, but it's kinda not clear as to which color, what it's gonna be if you're just looking at this. So I gotta tell you how to use this chart. So you gotta find the indicator of interest. So they're always mentioned by name, and that's the names, methyl orange, brome thymol blue, phenol thaline, litmates, brome chrysol green, thymol blue, et cetera. The color range change in the middle is designed so that the left side of the number, so is gonna be the left color, and the right side of the number is gonna be the right-hand color. So the color change column that you see, and I'll circle it, corresponds to what we got here. So this is gonna be red, at pH before 3.1, but when the pH is switches to be above 4.4, it's going to be yellow. And in the middle range, while well, you mix red and yellow, and yellow mixed together makes orange, which gives us that name for the molecule, methyl orange. Okay. Do, 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 do. Oopsies, skipped one there. So below pH 3.1, methyl orange is going to be red. And above pH 4.4, it will be yellow. That's kind of like the textbook way of reading table M. Below pH 6, brome thymol blue will be, hmm, brome thymol blue below pH 6 is going to be yellow, it says. And above 7.6, it will be, uh, looks like blue. And if it was right in the middle, mix yellow and blue, you've got green. So all these indicators can do both the color change that it shows plus the mix of the two colors that is shown when the pH changes right in the middle of the range. Okay. So making sense of table M. For methyl orange, anywhere below pH 3.1, we're going to have a red color. That's why there's a red arrow. Any pH above 4.4, we're going to have a yellow color. Simple, right? Let's keep running through our indicators and see how it looks. Brome thymol blue. Below pH 6, it's going to be yellow. Above 7.6, it's going to be blue. And green right in the middle. More indicators. Phenol thaline. This one's cool because it's colorless below pH 8. It looks like you can't see it's there. But at pH 9, it turns pink, bright pink. Really neat. We're going to use that in our acid base uh, titration lab. Litmus. This is where I saw litmus paper earlier on, but litmus can come as a solution as well. Below pH 4.5, it's red. So it's red in an acid. And below, above pH 8.3, it's blue, blue in a base. Litmus, yay. Brome chrysol green. Well, below pH 3.8, it's yellow. And above pH 5.4, it's blue. And in the middle of the range, yellow and blue mix to get green. So that's why it's got brome chrysol green in its name. Thymol blue. Below pH 8, it's yellow. Above pH 9.6, it's blue. In the middle, between 8 and 9.6, it would be greenish, okay? And there you have it. Acids and base indicator dyes are very easy to understand and utilize if you know how to work with table M and what the approximate pH range for color change relates to that color change mentioned. So below the number is the left-hand color. Above, above the right-hand number is the right-hand color. And that's how you interpret table M when you're using indicator dyes. Thanks for watching. See you in lesson seven, where we're going to do neutralization reactions. Mm-hmm.